to another video. Today we're going to do an effort up Winnets Pass. If you don't know what Winnets Pass is, it is a pretty brutal climb. We're in Castleton in Derbyshire. It is 1.8 kilometres. It's an average of 11.5% and there's a gradient. So I think it hits about 18.5%. It's brutal and to make it even worse, there's a massive, massive headwind. So you're going to see me struggle. You're going to see my power data and hopefully I'll... I mean, I don't know if I want to get any PVs up it just because there is such a strong headwind, but we shall see. So let's just head up it. See me, see my pain face. Right, are we ready? Have you got a cup of tea or something? Because this is going to be a long video. So this is the very start of the segment. You come off the main road and just get straight onto the segment. Um, so yeah, it's like I said before, it's about 1.8K, average of about 11.5% and, and there's sections of it. I actually think it's steeper. It says that there's, I think it says 18%. Um, but you'll see it in a minute, it clocks up I think around 20. Um, but if you've ever been or ever ridden this climb, let me know because because if you haven't, you need to go. It is absolutely stunning. I mean, it was it's generally quite windy up there, but it's just such a pretty climb. Um, so data, we've got on the top left, we've got my cadence, then we've got speed, bottom left we've got my watts, and then the gradient on the bottom right, so you can get an idea of how I'm suffering. <laughs> so, yeah. The bike that I'm on, you'll be able to see it a little bit better um, later on, it is the Ribble Endurance SL. It's what I call like my climbing bike, uh, just because it's really light, really just proper responsive, and I just, if I'm gonna do any kind of climbing, that's the bike that I'm gonna choose, just because I love it. Uh, I think I just did a little, a little snot there apologies <laughs> i do do a few later on as well so yeah also i should mention that the gopro makes the cars look like they are passing a lot closer there are a few more cars coming up and it looks way worse on camera than it did actually god you were going fast weren't you um they look like they're passing closer they're not there wasn't one time when i was riding up there that i felt like oh god that was a bit close um yeah that was another little snot apologies I don't know what it is, when I ride my bike, especially doing efforts, my nose just runs. It just runs a lot. Um, so, yeah, my watt. So, the last time I did it, I think I checked, I can't, I just can't remember what my watts were for it, but all I knew was I was aiming for about, oh, 200 and, I think I was aiming for like 280 or 290 because I checked on Strava. Um, if you like pay premium or a subscriber, um, however it's called now, there's like a power curve on there. You can see what your best power is for like a set amount of time. Um, and mine for 10 minutes, I think it was 289 or something. And I knew that I was aiming for about 10 or 11 minutes on the climb. I was aiming for about 11 to be fair. Look, little speed will cavern. If you've ever been, there's so, much, so many nice little caves and things to do um, in Castleton. It is really pretty. Like that looked really close. Look at my horses. Um, that looked close and it wasn't, I promise. The reason in a second that I'm taking the road is because we go over a cattle grid and there you go, because I was like, I'm not having him squeeze past me or her on a cattle grid, so I'm taking the road. And then I just kind of move back over and let him go past. So yeah, I'm getting out because it's getting steep. So yeah, nine, 10%. Um, yeah. Also the shoes that I've got on, I know a lot of people do hill, obviously hill climbs and races and stuff in road shoes, but I've got mountain bike shoes. Honestly, I've done a video on these shoes. They're so good. I just feel like, I just really like them. And the reason as well that I use um, mountain bike shoes on steep climbs is if you ever have to stop and get back on, it's way easier to clip in. If you ever tried on a very, very steep climb to clip back in with road shoes, it's pretty difficult. Um, you can see that I'm stripping. Look at the wind. Also, <laughs> Um, I told my friends that I was going and I sent them a little clip of the video and uh, it was like you'd saved a few watts if you'd have tied your hair back. The reason that my hair is not in a bobble is because I couldn't get the GoPro attached to my friend's bike and so I had to take, the only thing that I had I was like well I'm going to have to take my hair bobble out and that's why it's flapping around all over the place. But look at how stunning this is, oh, it is beautiful. I don't like I'm struggling, but I always think I look really awkward climbing. I love, love, love climbing, but when I look back, I always think I just look really, I don't know. I just love it, look at that. How can you not want to climb that? 
look at it. So with efforts wise, I don't, I don't, I mean, I do like set training sessions. I don't necessarily do like an effort like this very often, but if you are wanting to get fitter and you wanna try and lose a bit of weight, this kind of thing is just the best thing. It's so good, especially if you're with your friends and you're like racing up, there's just, oh, I just love it. Just for the fun of it, it doesn't really matter on times. I just like doing it just for the, just for the, for the fun of it. Apart from the wind, it was a really, really pretty evening. Like, just look at the sunlight. Like, we're getting up to 15, 16% now. And I think for me, like, I was looking up, I was like, I don't want to look ahead to see, see where I am on it. Um, I just like zoning out. So if you ever get like this, I know sometimes you get like, obviously you're thinking, oh, this is so hard, this is so painful. I don't think that. I just get into a zone where I'm just like, I love it because I do genuinely love it. And then at this point, it does get steeper. And so I'm like, I'm just gonna have to get out of the saddle for it. And I'm out of the saddle. I don't normally climb out of the saddle for a lot either. I'm generally, especially on steady climbs, I just kind of just sit and just plow on up there. But for a fair bit of this, I was getting out of the saddle. Because it was so, it was so steep. Oh, I did kind of nearly go into the curb then. Oops. Well, I have been up here before where the wind's been that bad, it can't, it just kind of blow you around a bit, but it was fine. I mean, it was windy, but it wasn't like blow you off the bike windy. But look at that. Just, oh, it is just so stunning. Maybe we should go and do like a meet up round there and we'll all do like a win it's, win it's climb together. Actually, probably not, it's quite a narrow road. I'm just taking a little picture. So, like I said before, because I kind of knew an estimate of the power that I could hold for around 10 minutes, look at that, 17, 18%. Um, that is what I was aiming for. I've got a power meter on there, I've got a stages, which is just um, a left side crank. I've had a stages power meter pretty much from when I started riding. I honestly think that is one of the best things that you can buy and invest in to, to, to improve your fitness. They are expensive initially, um, but the one that I bought is I still it's on my like my other bike, my CGR, Ribble CGR. It's still working perfectly. I've never had any issues with it. Um, and then this is the Ultegra version. Uh, but yeah, I honestly think they are definitely worth the investment. Because then you've got you've got a way of pacing rather than just like going all out. If I had gone all out at the bottom, I would be I would be hanging now. I would not be still going. Well, I would be, but it'd be hurt a lot more. Whereas if you can keep your wattage, it's kind of similar pace throughout. It's, it's harder on this side of the climb because it's kind of up and down, like 17%, 16%. You can see, like, I'm just like, I've got to keep going. And sometimes you do get it in your head where you're like, I'm going to have to stop. But then I just, I turn that off. I just go, nah, you're not stopping. You got this. I just tell myself, you got this. You can do it. And equally as well, because I know I was filming, I was like, I'm not doing this again. Like, I'm just, I'm not doing it again. So I'm just gonna have to do it now and put up with the wind. When we got there, we did like a little recce around um, Mam Tour. And it was so windy. I'd only been literally riding my bike for 30 seconds. I was like, I'm not doing it, it's way too windy. And then I was like, mm, let's just go part way down and see, see how busy it is. I mean, not how busy it is, sorry, how windy it is. probably should have pulled over a little bit before that other car I was kind of a bit in the road that is very close though and it yeah cars are generally pretty good on there to be honest a car actually we were taking pictures afterwards a car actually stopped and said are you all right I was like oh yeah yeah we're just taking a couple of pictures which I thought was really nice because it's, it's hard if you're either riding or in a car to stop whether you're going up or down because it is just so steep like look at that 16 17 percent 18 percent No, this was the one. I shouldn't have been that far out in the road. I should have been a bit further over. But it, that bit had just got so steep. And like I say, cars are generally really patient. Um, and sometimes if you are on like, I've done it before, when you're on like a narrow like country lane and you're climbing, sometimes you just have to make people wait. As, as bad as that sounds, it's like, you know, if you can pull over, then pull over. But sometimes I'm like, you're just gonna have to wait for a minute for me, like. Sorry, but I'm just gonna have to wait. 
And then now I'm just like, come on, we're nearly there. Although I don't know where we are. A few more minutes. Also as well, this was a requested climb. Someone said to me, I want, because I'd done a few other videos of like my power data over the climb. Um, and Winnets was one of them. So if you've got any other suggestions that you would like me to, to go and climb and you want to watch, watch me climb, then let me know. I'm more than happy to go out and film them and ride up them. Any kind of climb I am up for. Don't like the flats. I'm definitely a fan of the hills. I think I just like, look, I mean, look at all the rocks. Look at those wall. I love a stone. Look, you know, if you know my channel, you know me, you know I love a, uh, a good stone wall like that. And I think it's, it is literally, like I did the same there, I took the lane because of the cattle grid. Um, and it does level out around here. We can see me struggling. Not struggling, just pushing. Like on the flat, I'm, I'm just not that good on the flat. I'm much better with power wise if I'm on the, um, if I'm on a, on a climb. So, I mean, we're almost getting to the end. So I'll just tell you what my time was. I did it in 10.51, which was the segment time. I think the last one was like 13 something. So I took a couple of minutes off it and my average overall power was 286 watts and my average cadence was 76 because the thing is I like keeping my cadence high but because that was so steep you just you can't um but yeah you can see me just like, I'm just like get to the end get to the end and that top bit was particularly windy I've taken the audio off because it, it's just full-on wind noise and no one wants to hear that um also on my data screens, I have um, a lap, I press the lap button on my, I've got a Wahoo Roam and I've got the distance so I kind of know how long's left. I've got average power. What else have I got on there? Cadence. Oh, maybe I don't have cadence on there. I'll do it. I'll do another video showing what um, screens I have because that is the end of the segment just there. And now you'll just see me just rest and stop pedaling. <laughs> How bad was that headwind? <coughs> Did you hear me breathing really yeah. loud? I was like... <laughs> yeah. That's it, that's a good of a minute. So now I've had a little minute just to calm myself down. What are they doing? What are they doing? It, it says lost on the back of the car. Maybe they're lost. Um, I think I've actually taken a couple of minutes on my feet. I don't know how because it was the headwind was pretty brutal. So I'm very happy with that. I just I don't know what it is. I just love I love the pain of it in a really weird way. I like the suffering and I like like you have to just switch off from everything I was trying how I was trying not to think of anything that's what you gotta do on those like steep climbs and I don't really climb out of the saddle I was climbing out of the saddle a lot of that so yeah it was fun I hope you've enjoyed watching the footage and uh, I'll see you next video let me know actually which other climbs because this was a requested climb that you want to see my power data on let me know some of the climbs that you want me to go and have a go at so you can watch me climb but it is beautiful, absolutely stunning. But maybe I'll come back and have another pop at it in a more favourable weather. Right, see you next video. <coughs>